Why has Air India 171's crash theory just changed? RAT footage sparks new questions. It was supposed to be a routine flight. Air India 171, a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, taking off from Ahmedabad to London. But just moments after takeoff at 625 feet in the air, the plane issued a Mayday call. Thrust not achieved. Seconds later, it disappeared from radar. A breakthrough at the crash site last week, the Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau, AAIB, recovered the flight data recorder found lodged on a rooftop near the crash site. Now, officials have confirmed the second black box, the cockpit voice recorder, has also been recovered. These devices, built by Honeywell and Curtis Wright, are designed to survive the worst – impact, fire, even ocean pressure. Inside them, the final 30 seconds of truth. Every word spoken, every warning light, every alarm triggered, every switch that was moved. Then came the video and a game changer. That's when aviation expert Captain Stevie stepped in. Using enhanced original footage, not the grainy video circulated on social media, he spotted something which was very shocking. A small grey blur beneath the aircraft's belly. It wasn't debris, it was the RAT, the Ram Air Turbine, a tiny emergency propeller that only deploys when a plane loses all hydraulic and electrical power, typically during a dual engine failure. This is not theory anymore, it's visual evidence. Captain Stevie says the RAT looks like a little Evinrude motor, a two-blade prop spinning at near supersonic speeds. It only comes out if something has gone terribly wrong. Four clues that point to engine failure, visual confirmation. The RAT door is open and the turbine deployed. Audio evidence, a distinctive RAT whirring, like a prop plane. It clearly heard in the original footage. Survivor's account. He heard a loud bang and saw the cabin lights flicker before the crash, making RAT activation patterns. The Mayday call. The pilot reported thrust not achieved, seconds before impact. Captain Stevie now believes this was not flaps, not gear, not fuel contamination. This was catastrophic engine failure. So what happens now? Experts say decoding both black boxes could take around 20 days, factoring in Boeing's analysis and coordination with global aviation bodies. But here's the worry. Some experts fear corporate interference may cloud the findings and that the real cause may never be publicly disclosed. The data will be sent to Boeing for initial diagnostics. But the global aviation community is watching very closely because the RAT changes everything. Was this preventable? That's the real question. Today, airlines can equip fleets with predictive maintenance tools like Honeywell Forge or Rolls Royce's Blue Data Thread. AI systems that detect microscopic anomalies long before they lead to disaster. They can stream cockpit data in real time using systems like Inmarsat's Swift Broadband Safety. So no aircraft ever goes off-grid again. So why wasn't it done? Because aviation safety isn't just about technology. It's about budgets, policy, accountability, and most importantly, global cooperation. Make sure to check our previous video, which we covered in detail here on front page. Flight 171 is a tragedy, but it must also be a wake-up call. That safety can't be reactive. That lives shouldn't be lost to things we already know how to fix. Yes, the investigation will take time, but every bite recovered, every video frame enhanced, every sound isolated must lead to only one thing. A world where flying becomes safer and heartbreak like this, very, very rare. This is Front Page by AIM TV, where we don't speculate or point fingers. We bring you the tech 
behind the headlines. The tools that uncover the truth and the systems that can make sure tragedies like this never happen again. No noise, no drama, just clarity, compassion and facts. Let us know what you think in the comments below and make sure to like, share and subscribe and always remember, think AI, think AIM.